Hey, now it's the Rob from 1061 Kiss FM here with my tag team partner in podcasting. Hey, it's Eric Cornish with WKDQ. Welcome to the Enhancement Talent and uh, second one for the week. But man, we've been full of wrestling all week long, haven't we? It has been wrestling fever this entire week. Our website is just, uh, it's flooded with New Day stuff and WWE stuff. And I want to thank again the New Day for being oh. a part of the Enhancement Talent on Tuesday. Those guys are so cool. I mean, just all of them, just always on, on their game. You right. know what I mean? And I love this character for them. Uh, the, the promos they cut this week on Raw and SmackDown were top notch, uh, and, and I love the way this team is going. I feel like a month ago, having the New Day in would have been less cool than it was this yeah. this week. So thanks to those guys. And if you look at either one of our websites, you search the New Day, sure. you'll find a whole bunch of video and audio from uh, those guys. So thank you again, New Day. Let's talk about the uh, the show that was here. Um, uh, good crowd, I thought, for an mm -hmm. Evansville crowd. One of the best crowds I think I've ever seen for uh, for a WWE show in Evansville. They certainly were loud. Yes. You know, and they were having a lot of fun. And uh, I was having a great time, too. You know how much I love uh, the TV taping, especially here in Evansville. And I, uh, I was uh, happy to be a part of SmackDown. I mean, WWE, uh, you know, it's always top-notch what they do. Um, as we mentioned before on the show, I'm not a fan of the TV tapings. I love house shows. Uh, I'm a wrestling guy, and, and I feel like, you know, the house shows are more of a wrestling show. Mm -hmm. You get match by match by match. Uh, you know, and this, you're watching a TV show. Broken up into segments. There's a little bit of wrestling on it, but the matches are short. A lot of promos. Um, you know, so that, that was just my, but it was good, you know, it was nice to be there for, for a TV show, but I prefer the house shows. The promos can get painstaking sometimes when they get up there in length because you can't do anything else, you know, you're not in your home. But I really prefer, and I know we disagree on this, uh, I like being able to say I was there when, and I, right. I do like the TV approach, the cameras add excitement to me. So uh, to me, I'll take a TV taping or a pay-per-view over a house show, but I love the house shows and I respect your opinion. It, it was cool to have uh, everybody in town because, uh, you know, it was it was kind of a downtime for them because they, they were off a couple days afterwards from what I was hearing. So they stayed in town a lot longer. I was actually around town yesterday and the, there were still trucks in mm -hmm. town yesterday, uh, you know, buses and stuff. and. Let's just say Tuesday night, I may or may not have danced with Paige at, at Hoosier's Lounge. Did you really? Yeah. Okay. This, please. No, this is this is for real, okay? So after I'm the show Tuesday the night. Time. So yeah, this is this is news to him. So uh, we go we go out, we have some food after it's over. Well then uh, a couple of my buddies that live, you know, further out of town, they had to leave. So and I'm just like, well, I wanna stay out. Oh, you know, you've obviously got to get up early in the morning. Sure. I had yesterday off, so I'm like, I want to go out. You know, I want, I want to have some fun. So, so I went, and Travis was going to meet up with me, but then he couldn't at the last minute either. So it was just me. So I went and had had a beer at, at Hoosier's Lounge. While walking to Hoosier's Lounge, all of a sudden it was like I was in an episode of Total Divas. I, I'm not even kidding because at one table you had Paige, you had Naomi, and Jimmy Uso. You had, uh, well, Tamina was there. She's not on Total Divas, but she was there. Um, Cameron was there, I, I believe. Uh, you may jo have been an episode of Total Divas. JoJo was there. Um, Alicia Fox was there. And uh, Rosa Mendez were I'm all kidding. sitting at the table. So, you know, and I was just going about my business. There were some fans there, which I got to say, guys, leave them alone. Don't bring your kids. At 11.30 at night, leave your kids out of the bar trying to meet the wrestlers, okay? <laughs> Let them have their <laughs> to life. say we have to pat the disclaimer here at Evansville, uh, but we just, do. I mean, come on. Let's, Okay. So anyway, so I am, uh, I'm, I'm sitting there just, you know, having a beer and drinking, and, and there's very few people in this bar at this point, and there's, there's an old band on stage, there's like two old men and an old woman on stage, finishing up, and, uh, and Paige is just going crazy and dancing and just pointing everybody in the crowd, like, come on, let's dance. So we, we did a little dance into Moni Moni. Uh, I mean, <laughs> I have no proof of this. I do have a, a video of her dancing on stage, but just to, you know, for privacy's sake, I won't post that. <laughs> But this happened, for real. I gave her a high five at the end of the night because she outlasted all the other divas on the dance floor. And then I scolded Alicia Fox for not outlasting Paige. And Alicia said, hey, she's seven years younger than me. What can I do? <laughs> and then that was it. That was the end of my night. So wow. anyway, I just thought I'd share that That's story. a very cool story. So there we go. So and now that that's all good, thank you, WWE, for coming to town. And let's talk about some pay-per-view action. Yes, we've got a pay-per-view this coming Sunday. I'm looking at the card. And I have to tell you, Cornish, this is an example of a show, in my opinion, that doesn't need to happened, especially considering there's a pay-per-view coming up in two weeks. Oh, yeah. I think that was a last-minute thing, the whole Elimination Chamber, but 
Uh, th this is the one, you know, the pay-per-view after WrestleMania is tough, mm -hmm. but the one after the one after WrestleMania is really tough because you blew off so many feuds at WrestleMania. Now it's just a bunch of rematches. But I that kinda, being said, I kind of wish they would have just refocused all their efforts on making Elimination Chamber great. Uh, I can't stand a pay-per-view two weeks after a pay-per-view. They used to do it all the time. It drove me crazy. And then they'll do it again with Money in the Bank right I, after that. So um, I, you know, SummerSlam exactly. Yeah. So I mean, yes, this this will annoy me, especially looking at uh, how many rematches or matches that just could wait two weeks to happen. But uh, you want to start at the bottom? Let's do it. We know that on the pre-show, the kickoff show, the Ascension is taking on the the Mega Powers. <sighs> wow. Wow, I, I, unfortunate for these guys. I mean, we talked about the Ascension a couple weeks ago and, and the path that they've taken. Um, I don't know that they're trying, obviously I thought maybe when they came out they were trying to give them a little bit of an elevation, but then they got just disposed of real quick yeah. by Axelmania and <clears throat> Macho Mandel. Um, bottom line, one, Curtis Axel, great worker, but he, he doesn't have the it factor his father had. They want him to. He doesn't have it. Um, putting him in this Hulk Hogan thing, especially when you have Hulk Hogan already working with you guys a lot, wrong. Uh, Damian Mizdow, biggest reaction for anybody in a long time, and it looks like they've ruined that again. We don't need to see rehashing. Damian, oh, the same thing. Damian oh. Mandel is taking 70 steps backwards oh, absolutely. with this. This is someone who kind of overcame that gimmick with like the once in a lifetime deal yeah. with, when he was teaming with Miz, and now he's right back to where he started before that they yeah. struck gold with that. The only the only good thing out of all this was like when he got in the ring as as Macho Man, and I saw that they were kind of teaming. I was like, they're going to do the handshake gimmick, and they did. And okay, fine, that was cool. Um, but that's all I wanted to see. I don't want to see them go on as a team. Uh, Jay Lethal has already done this and done it way better uh, as, as far as impersonating Macho Man. So well, and don't forget, me. this was in a whole flooded scene of uh, rehashing parodies, whatever you want to call them, uh, on Monday night. Oh, yeah. All happening in the last half of the show, none of which particularly funny. The primetime players were doing it. And I feel like the Ascension is kind of a parody in and of itself, but uh, that's what it is. Who do you have? Uh, I, I'm going to go with uh, the, the Mega Powers. That's what <laughs> I have one, too. I, guess. I, I don't feel confident with my choice, but I, I'm going to take them as well. Uh, Ascension seems to get no s sort of traction going yeah. whenever they get any steam, uh, if you can even call it they have steam. This is, this is just one of the things. Like some of the things are doing good in WWE. This, one of the things that it's just bad. It's real bad. The next match we want to talk about will feature our friends The New Day, the tag team champions, defending their title against... Tyson Kidd and Cesaro. Man, I think the New Day is on a roll. I think uh, they are, their stock is rising every single day. I love them as heels, but at the same time, Kidd and Cesaro looking great too. Uh, but I'm going to keep the titles on New Day because I think that's where the money is in this, this feud here. Two and a half words, New Day Rocks. <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm, I'm sticking with them too. And not just because we're best friends, but also because I think they're going to win on, on Sunday. Absolutely. Bray Wyatt taking on Ryback, Cornish. Um, interesting. Uh, the way things left off on SmackDown, you know, Bray Wyatt kind of getting the upper hand, uh, taking out the knee of Ryback. Uh, Spoiler. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, that's right. If you weren't there, you didn't know that. Uh, but uh, I don't know. Now that Bray kind of got the upper hand going into the match, I, I tend to go with Ryback, although I think both of these guys, uh, I don't like this feud because both of these guys really need a good showing. Like they do, they, like you know, they they just both need it. You, they, I like the way they're going, but they, I can't afford to have one of these guys lose. Well, that's in my the, that's the thing is, I'm hoping that this is not the the climax of this feud. I hope this is really just the infancy of it. Uh, these are two people who could work well together yeah. for a long running feud where both of them come out looking good. And Bray's good at that. Bray's good at being in feuds where he doesn't need to win to make himself look good. Yeah. Uh, I have Bray Wyatt written as, as my choice and winner. Who do you have? Let's, uh, I, you know what, let's say some kind of double count out just so I can see neither one of these guys lose. That's, that's to be honest, if I had to pick a winner, I'm picking Wyatt, but I, I want to see this one at least till SummerSlam. Sure. So I'd like to see a, a double DQ as well. Something to hold it off a little bit. Uh, we've got uh, King Barrett, the newly crowned king. With uh, he's going to be with Adrian Neville. With Neville, you know, I, I like this feud. I, I like the way these guys work together, despite their differences in size. Uh, you know, I love Barrett works well with the king gimmick. Uh, I like how he's he's treating that. 
Um, he was a great choice to win. I'm, I'm going to pick Barrett on this one. I am too. Uh, I don't think Neville's getting buried or anything yet, but no, I, I, I see him coming out looking strong, but on the losing end. Uh, because it would also be bad to have you know your, your newly crowned king look... Oh, true. Like soft too. And Neville's one of those, you know, this is where I don't want to hear people say Neville's being buried. No, you can't just come in and win every match. Right. Um, but he looks good in every outing. And and Neville is, uh, trust me, Neville is not in trouble. He's doing okay, but I'm still going to pick Barry. When he hit his finish uh, on SmackDown, the place erupted. Oh, it yeah. was ungodly loud. All right, we got a few more matches here to talk about. Dolph Ziggler rematch with Sheamus. I like the way these guys are working. Uh, you know, I think uh, the feud's going well. Uh, Ziggler got the upper hand last time. I think uh, the way WWE booking works, you would see Sheamus win this one. Yeah, I see Sheamus winning as well. Um, Ziggler, uh, he, by the way, he was great on the show too. Yeah, he was. Uh, I love seeing him. Uh, I, the, the new Sheamus I want to mention is not bothering me, actually. Uh, while he used to be my, my least favorite wrestler on the show, uh, this heel gimmick is working for me big time. So I want to make sure I acknowledge that I see him winning uh, on Sunday. Yep. Got two more. Okay. I quit match. Yeah, Cena and Rusev. I like one that you actually pitched to me uh, a few weeks ago when we found it was going to be an I quit match. Uh, I see Lana somehow submitting for Rusev. That could happen too. If, and turning her face. Uh, so who knows? You know, but I have... So you have Cena winning? I have... Uh, I'm sorry, I have, you have, no, I have Rusev have, winning. I have Cena winning. You have Rusev winning. I do. This one, who knows? I still think Cena's got more time with him with the U.S. strap, personally. But that's my choice, and I like when we disagree, personally. That's right. All right, and the main event, the Fatal 4-Way. Let's see if I can name everybody. we got Seth Rollins. Yep. We've got uh, Dean Ambrose. We have Randy Orton. And we have... Who am I missing? Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns, thank you. So... This is interesting, and I hope I hope that this is one of the few times that they put all of the former Shield members in one match because I think down the I road am just not realizing that I think down the road you got big money in those three together. Maybe next year WrestleMania, maybe SummerSlam, I don't know. Um, but a title match with the three of those involved and put that Shield storyline in there, I think is is money. But Orton kind of breaks it up in this case. Um, what's weird is you've got you've got three baby faces in one heel in this match. Uh, you know, they tease tension between but, all the other guys. But a monster heel. Or just, oh, just, yeah, just yeah. a guy who's way over as So, you. and then you've got the Kane factor in there too. Um, so, it kind of looks like you've got almost four baby faces against one heel, which is odd. Um, so, I almost think that someone needs to turn, but not really. I, I don't know. It's hard to turn in a match where everybody, every man's for himself. Um, but uh, but I, I, that, all that being said, I think Rollins wins. I think Rollins wins as well. And this goes to show one thing. Like, okay, so I was happy when Rollins left WrestleMania with the title because it wasn't Reigns. Now I'm happy because he's having an incredible title run. That he is, yeah. He's having great matches. He's telling great stories. He's When has a, a champion have this much heat on him, you know, from the crowd? And the right kind of heat. Like, this to me has been... A match made in heaven. Rollins is a, even exceeding my expectations of him as a champion, and I do see him carrying the title at the very least until SummerSlam. And it's almost like it's almost like Orton has been the one who's kind of just faded away in this one. Right. Because, you know, of course, Reigns has still been strong all all throughout. Uh, and then you've got Ambrose, who was just kind of thrown into this, but they have made him look like gold again. Like after taking him to the main event and then bringing him down. I mean, he's right back up there in the main event. And I mean, being move. in his hometown of Cincinnati, That's I mean, what I was the gonna crowd say. reaction was crazy. They made um, him a bigger star by waiting to do all that stuff in Cincinnati. Absolutely. So um, so Ambrose looks great going in this match. Reigns looks great. Mm -hmm. You know, Orton's just there, but that's that's all right. Orton's a star, you know. So um, I, I don't know how they do it, but but Rollins comes out as a winner. If one person turns, I see it being Orton. But I, I don't know for sure. Could I don't be. not see I, I can see Ambrose. I can see Ambrose turning. Maybe. Um, but uh, but anyway, Kane Kane's gonna play a factor somewhere here. And remember, if you know, you know, you've got the storyline of him being fired if Rollins loses. So that's almost like well, maybe he should lose and then Kane get fired. That's but, what I was thinking too. But I could also see Kane just quitting or whatever, going back with the mask on. I don't I don't know what's gonna happen. Um, but uh, but anyway. I, I don't know. Hey, I'm realizing now. Now I'm kind of intrigued with this match. <laughs> I believe there's a female tag match. There is, yes. The Bella Twins versus uh, Naomi and Tamina. Uh, I'm going to say Naomi and Tamina. But Ooh. I've got a lot of heels winning on this thing. So. Um. Yeah, you know what? 
Uh, I'm gonna go ahead... Do I agree with that? I think I do. I think I agree that they're gonna go over this time. Yeah, okay, I feel like they've got a lot of momentum going yeah. into this. You haven't seen much from the Bellas, you've seen a lot from them. Uh, I agree. I, I think that uh, they, will, they will beat the Bellas this yeah. coming Sunday. That's true. Of course, we love your predictions. Send those to us. Our email addresses are uh, on the bottom. And uh, anything else, Mr. Parks? Yeah, I will at least tell you, I know in a dance contest, Naomi and Tamina would win. But then again, I didn't see the Bellas dancing at Hoosier's Lounge to the old person band. So, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but anyway. You're going to start getting uh, bad emails from the, the two people in that band. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. You know, they were a great band. They were just, just kind of old. Uh, I wasn't there. I can't comment on your <laughs> I'm sure you guys are great. Uh, so again, once again, thank you to The New Day for everything they did for us this week. To WWE, we had a great Absolutely. time on Tuesday at SmackDown. For myself. And for Eric Cornish, thanks for watching The Enhancement Talent. Have a great weekend.